everything should be good and we'll see something in a little bit. Mark, can I get a little test test? Test test one, two, three, test 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 That last little bit got me too. I remember that. Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday's My Hero Academia manga stream. Here with Mark as we go through and jump into a new chapter. Chapter 315? But first, Mark, there's always something that we always do. What does that be? Mm. Recap episode! <laughs> yes, we're here with the uh, recap episode of 314. Uh, it's been a week. As, uh, as per usual, we've been blessed with having like the weekly um, chapter releases. But to uh, kind of go and recap uh, 314, it was when Deku had grabbed Ali Nagant's hand as, as he like Fajin up a building. <laughs> Exactly, just burst through an entire goddamn skyscraper. And I was really thinking, like, this is it. Like, he's got her. Like, it's checkmate. But I think what happened was that she elbowed him with her rifle, and that was just enough to give her some space and um, keep a distance uh, as she was about to fire straight, like, probably at the abdomen. <laughs> like, legit barrel against him. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he was fast enough to dodge a bullet at damn near point blank range. It's it's wild. Like I feel like like Deku's not at one hundred percent, but this feels like one like something of like of a high level tier like fight. Oh, absolutely! Like he's definitely he's learning. He's learning how to combine all of his new quirks in order to make up for not being able to use one hundred percent. Yes, I think that's the best way to describe it because of the fact that like Lena Gantz like a she used to be a hero, like a pro hero, and even a more pro so hero and an assassin. And yeah, she she's so good that she was trained to be an assassin. Like she's been trained for any type of situation. Mm -hmm. And so in uh, three fourteen, we got a lot of uh, glimpses of like her past, how she kind of came about growing up. All, as it kind of talks about how she was raised up to be an assassin in the first place. All these things that we see. Uh, I think our conversation with Christoph over Facebook chat was uh, pretty significant as far as like this yeah. sets stone of like the very groundwork that is this hero society that was developed it's for the series. So dark. How it isn't, it isn't like black and white. Deku also like words the same thing because he now acknowledges that the world isn't exactly how he saw it like when he was growing up. It's and gray. Same thing with Lady Nagant. It's she saw it the same way as Deku did, uh, you know, before she got into it. And she was just like him. She was a happy, smiling kid. Mm -hmm. It does it's, make me it's, it's, yeah. it's okay. very, sorry, but it's very, like, what we were talking about with Kristoff. Like, I remember I messaged you guys because, like, I was watching a review of it from, uh, from somebody. And I was like, they brought up good points. And I was like, how did I not realize that? Because I was like, we always knew that there was a darker side to hero society. We always knew. Mm -hmm. But to see it laid out in front of us and learn just how dark. I think it's, it, yeah, it's another it's layer black. to it. Because, of course, the, another like point to bring out is always like, um, well, maybe not Hero Society specifically, but the fact that it was like Shigaraki who was a victim of just like circumstances and there was no one who could really help him this time. And the the person who ended up helping him despite how twisted it was, was all for one. Darkest evil. <laughs> the darkest evil, but pretty much a hero to Shigaraki at the time. But uh, in any case... Um, and you wonder why there aren't heroes that step out of line. It's because the ones that do disappear. Yes. Because here comes Lady Nagant, um, who was about to question it, and she just happened to be as fast as she needed to be uh, against... Yep. Uh, who was he again? He was the former uh, head of the Public Safety Commission. God. It looked like he was about to pull a gun out of his freaking jacket. Mm hmm And so she, in self-defense, uh, fired. Oh. Now, with that, Deku, uh, in the midst of all this, really trying to figure out like the best way to like attack her using like all his quirks, uh, uses like a black uh, whip uh, pinpoint focus 
And um, I love, again, love how they uh, drew this one because of how, like, it's it's speed, but it's also fisheye. Oh, it's very much a wide angle, like, yeah, fisheye lens mixed with a very a lot of motion. Yes. Be interesting to see how this gets animated. It'll probably That's take a while. while. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be a while, but it'll be worth yeah, it. Yeah, he used Black Whip to um, trace her bullet trajectory, which is crazy. Hmm. And he was just like, it's so crazy that he, I mean, granted, yeah, he has floats, so he's able to like just be in the air for long periods of time and then project himself. Yeah, but, but we've seen so far he he's mostly using Black Whip, one for all, and currently Fajin. Yes. So now he he's closing in. Um, Lane Dugan takes advantage of the situation. It's like, well, if he's so fixated on this idea of helping everyone, how about I give him something to think about? Points her gun over to a little tiny Are ant. You done yet? <laughs> he points at a little tiny ant. He's like, oh, is that just talking? <laughs> and, Are you done yet? I want to go to the boss, Chisaki. And there you have it. Now we are jumping into um, chapter 315. Um, this one Get is right into it with the first page. Mm hmm. Uh, which one calls it? Uh, chapter 315 is uh, titled Platitudes. Is uh, looks like we get a shot of them before they well, in the midst of them after oh, Jesus, after they left the prison and right before they went like on to hunt Deku. Uh, we have Chisaki actually speaking full sentences. <laughs> He's it makes you wonder how broken he is. I think he's just fixated, but broken, but not to a point where he can't speak. Mm -hmm. But in any case, he says, "I know that kid, huh?" As Lady Nagant is using <laughs> Airwalk to go pick up some things, like from above. The one who foiled my plan. He's got a real severe case of hero syndrome. Wow, I was hoping you'd be used to arms, but this. <laughs> Yeah, he has um he's just sitting down, whatever. Uh that has no shirt on, so you can actually see like the bandaged up like like arms. Stubs. Stubs. Stubs specifically. What was Lady Gone saying? She was like, Wow, I was hoping you'd be useful, but this is like fate. How about you tag along and ID the target for me? One condition. She's like, this shit's a little small. Nah, I ain't taking revenge for you. That's your grudge. Not that. Don't care about that. I See, lost everything. I lost everything. Only one thing left. Uh, I guess I'll read this a little bit here too. It shows like his boss to bring back my boss. Boss. Sorry, boss. And he doesn't even hold a grudge. He just wants to see the boss again. Yeah. I figured that would be the ultimate thing. Like, either he's like super upset with Deku, which he isn't. He just he he, he did everything like for the boss, despite yeah, it kind he, of going against his own like ideals too. But they want to see him. Yeah, he, like she even said, "I'm not taking your revenge," and he said he doesn't even care about that. Mm -hmm. But the last which panel, no oh, no bad okay. blood. Right. So that's the only that's his focal point right now. But damn, Lady Nagan doesn't give a shit. She grows, she grows out a gross arm, just like all for one rifle plus just muscle, straight muscle. Uh, go ahead, Mark, on the uh, next page. I held up my end of the deal. Tag me to the boss now. Did you see overhaul just yelling in the rain? As you see, Izuku's black whip just detached. It looks, it looks like he's getting ready to just head straight for Chisaki. Mm -hmm. We see Lady Nagant just pointing that bulky rifle immediately at Chisaki. So gross, Jesus! This, I know this puts me at risk of this puts me at risk of jamming, but got to up my shot velocity. So, the more power she gives it, the more it gives her an increase of of her of jamming the rifle, but it'll increase the velocity of the shot. Ah. A little something, something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Send it. Your hero education taught you to taught you to hate one thing above all else. 
next page. No matter who the victim is, if your own screw-up gets him killed, that'll really keep you up at night. Bling! As he just shoots the fucking bullet. Another factor to think about. Pulls a, pulls a t- Plus a tough call to make. That'll, sh- that'll slow him down. That's when I finish the... As you see, Izuku, as you see the bullet in Izuku right there. Mm-hmm. Next page. Oh! This is... Oh my god, dude. Look at the speed. <laughs> no hesitation. My Look god. His cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now we get to get the uh, the full explanation of Fajin. But Quirk, Fajin. Uh, repeated movements uh, build up motion based energy for temporary storage and release. I told you. Deku says, uh, while getting shot at, I flexed and extended my legs to proje- uh, protect myself and store up that energy. Plus, one for all, 45%. Plus, centrifugal uh, force, everyone in my generation can picture it. Basically, he's adding centrifugal force, which means, like, you know, constantly moving around along with, along with all these other factors. This is true. Oh, wow. I never considered that. Because he's still building up energy. <laughs> yeah, all that leads into a kid. All that leads into kinetic energy. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a really cool one. This is like this is a, like a full page and two pager. Uh, oh yeah. I'll read this one, but essentially it's you just see like the bullet about to hit uh, Chisaki. The sight of all might moving faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> Deku. Oh. Oh. In the- Deku had just outsped that speeding bullet enough to push Shisaki out of the way. Dub Fox 100%. Oh, it's faux 100%. Faux, oh, thank you. Meaning it's 100%, but not really. Yeah, it's, it's, the, um, it's the exaggerated 1 million percent. Technically, it's more, well, that's more of just he gave it literally everything he had and then some. Yeah, the, this the, is more of adding in all the factors to where it, it's like he's only using 45%, but given the fudge in and also given the centrifugal force, technically 100%. Technically speaking, without actually accessing more of the percentage on one for all. Correct. But his body still kind of feels like the wind. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, impossible. Speed. What is this speed? And I see the next thing. It's crazy. Go ahead. Gotcha. He caught up to my shot. No, it's wilder than that. He already he was already shifting trajectory as I was aiming and firing. Just wow. We'll talk later, Chisaki. As he uses black whip to like be like a slingshot right now. Yes. Do it. <laughs> Do it. We look to see the third user. I was using one for all at 45%. Danger Sense, Smoke Screen, Black Whip, Fajin, and Float. And I switched them on and off in rapid succession, but it was too much to process all at once. My body froze up. Having learned that lesson a second ago, n- now I've narrowed it down to, to using just one for all, Black Whip, and Fajin. Gotta do this again. See Lady Nagant's gonna try for it again. Mm-hmm. Izuku still got one leg's worth of Fajin stored up. So he wow. saved it all in one leg. Well, it would be like he saved, he has like both legs used and he used like one already to um, sling himself like all the way to Shaki, but now he's using the other leg. Oh, he, oh, he coming, bro. He's sending it. He's sending it. Full send. <laughs> Full send and oh! Excuse me? <laughs> it's like, oh. Right, so- Holy he shit. Broke that shit. He broke that shit. My god. But it's it's Bow 100%. Manchester. Smash! And yeah, he just straight up broke her gun. <laughs> that is so wild. Says, your gun barrel's busted. It's over, Landagon. Bro, it looks like someone just took, like, a stick and just broke it in two different places. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you see that? It's yes. broken in like two different areas. <laughs> it's legit a backwards L now. 
She says in her thoughts, not a hint of hesitation. He recognized an enemy who he uh, for who he was, still left into action like you uh, like the natural thing to do. She tries to use airwalk. When was it? I wonder. The right uh, the right arm of yours will make our society a better place. When did the platitudes start making me want to puke? Her um. Uh, rifle arm changes back to a regular arm that Deku uh, snatches. The speed lines. The speed lines. Should I read this? Um, me. I'll I'll just get to you since it's just like, it's a okay. mixture of panels here. Uh, Deku says the headshot headed for the shot headed for Shisaki was off by a little bit. If you were really allied with one for all and his brand of evil. Your very first shot would have hit my lower body and stopped me cold. Basically, like, you were never on his side. Yeah. You've known real darkness, so you gotta know there's a way to bring back, bring back the light. Please, fight on our side. I can tell you've still got the soul of a hero. As they're just holding hands, boom, which is BDMPs, boom. And then you can see they, them, her flashing back to his fight, the flight, and like just how, and just how um, selfless Izuku is. Mm -hmm. She just goes, "What a guy!" Oh, you see in this? I see it. It's uh. This, you, see, you, you remember when I put that gif in the chat of the guy who looks forth? Did look by his eyes are like enormous? Yeah, that 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 that's that's this is why. <laughs> oh my god, Izuku Midoriya. You're the real d as she just starts to crack. Her face starts to crack. Deku's like, oh! And then we see all for one. The soul is far too fickle, which is why I added a failure clause to your contract. Oh shit, I'm not ready for the next page. But oh, I'll do it, I'll oh do it anyway. God. Okay, well, I'll take these two. <laughs> it's a massive explosion. <laughs> Deck is like, Nagat! Bro, she is toasty. Absolutely charred. Looks like I burnt my toast this morning. <laughs> Bro. All for one, uh, speaking. To the very end, you were just a tool to be used. Curse your blessing of a quirk, if you must. Alas, the hapless, woeful lady Nagat. Deku is in shock. Here comes the feathers, though. It's Hawks. No dying on me now, Nagat. Next Oscar chapter, June 13th. My god, dude. Hawks to the rescue. Man, dude. That... That was intense. Dude, I did not expect you to explode. I... My god. To be fair, this seems like this is totally up, like, all for one's alley, but I did not oh, expect... Absolutely, it's... Totally some shit for him to do, but... I didn't expect him to, like, input this quote-unquote failure clause. How the fuck do you do that? It might be, like, an actual quirk. Otherwise, every I time would... you, Every time you change your mind, you explode. Otherwise, yeah, it's a specific quirk, I would say. I mean, like, my mind's racing about this, but I think for all of one... Obviously, he didn't just give her, like, airwalk. It was something else that lets her lets him monitor her, her in a certain way. Where if it's a condition that doesn't meet the mindset of the user, then uh, you receive, like, some kind of punishment for it. Or... A big punishment. <laughs> or you literally just uh, set a ticking time bomb on her. She was so beautiful, and they, and they blew her up. That's damn. Dude. She was a wife. They blew up a waifu, bro. It they blew up the waifu, bro. <laughs> like Nagant was like probably second hottest next to fucking Muriko, <laughs> and now I'm just like, bro, how could you do this? Wash, where are you? Wash, clean this lady up. Like, look at the last bit, dude. Is her face even still on? That's what I'm wondering because. It's a crack, which reminds me exactly like um, Shigaraki, like when he was about to turn. Um, 
but this is just a straight up explosion like from the face like is there a way to heal that or is she gonna be like snipe and start wearing a full body suit I can see that I mean which is a shame because she was so pretty before you know also suffered injuries like that not to this extent but Nezre also got burnt True. heavy it's just <laughs> it's like all for one needs to be stopped this man is a menace he's a menace to all society and all, and all fan bases everywhere all waifus everywhere but taking a quick moment out of the tragedy that is like this fight with Lady Gaunt like falling like that I gotta give like full props to Deku because it, it, they did the full anime treatment on him when it came to like all these little tiny processes that you just see, but they don't really explain it. And Lady Nagant's like pretty much the person to tell the audience as like, "Hey, there's so a exactly lot of things doing. <laughs> there's a lot of things he's considering right now. Like he's legit. He can sit. Like he didn't even hesitate. Like even when even when she was changing the direction of her rifle, he had already changed his trajectory. And that's so wild because like. I mean, first and foremost, of course, that, like, Deku has all these different quirks, so that all, like, contributes to the dub they got here. Otherwise, any other person would have gotten got already by Lady Gaunt. But they also, like, flipped that around because Deku was saying that, like, Lady Gaunt never truly, like, followed what, um, followed, like, All for One's ideals deep down. Yeah. Because I was thinking about that, too, in the sense that, like, she obviously has, like, this issue against like the current like, structure, against the current structure of things but when you cut back to when she was uh engaging with the kids it was never about them so she was never like far gone she was just yeah, like she she didn't shake their hands because like you know she like it, like like you said it was like kakashi dude she just couldn't stop seeing the blood on her hands mm -hmm. and and so props to deku because he He's he's still learning about all this, um, but he's he's been able to find the combinations needed, like in the midst of like the, I guess like the brevity of this like fight, all this happened like seamlessly, probably by seconds, and he was fat like oh my god he's faster than that speeding bullet. <laughs> oh, one hundred percent. We got a new power. I like it. I think. For him, for Deku to really stand on top of against like all these like baddies, obviously like like one for all like forty five percent is pretty in intense. But when you add things like Fajin, especially Float Black Whip, to literally make yourself like a speeding bullet yourself, then he literally used centrifugal force. <laughs> I'm surprised that his um, Iron Souls are still intact. Uh, bro, iron like iron souls like that. Those things are pretty hard. Like it's like, it depends on the caliber of bullet. Honestly, mm -hmm. the, the, the it's the uh the caliber of bullet and where exactly he hit the bullet. As long as he hit the bullet on the side, she'll be fine. But if he hit the, if he hit the bullet like right on the pointy end as it's flying, ouch. <laughs> yeah. That foe one hundred percent back to back. The fact that after he saved Chisaki, he just black whipped onto the building like a fucking Spider-Man esque for a slingshot. Yes, and flung himself again to absolutely snap that that rifle arm. You see that it's legit a backwards L right now. It is a backwards L. Like it was a straight line, and now it is anything but. Mm -hmm. Like I, it looks like he broke that rifle in two different places. And in the end, I mean, obviously, like the work they uh, he did, Avi makes up for it. But he pretty much talked no jutsu her at the end. It wasn't hard because she was never really that far gone. This is true. Now I'm just very curious about what he's going to talk to Chisaki about. There's probably a lot of questions about, like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why are you out? 
Well, actually, that answers itself. I like, don't know. I feel my prediction, we're going to be seeing more on it next chapter. Because mm-hmm. I feel like next chapter is going to be about two things, possibly. Okay. A, trying to save Lady Nagant's life. And B, talking with Chisaki. And with Chisaki, I'm really wondering if because I've how long have I been calling it for? I've been calling it for forever. The possible hmm. enemy of my enemy is my friend with Chisaki. Maybe. Well, actually, no, I don't deny it either. I just I like. Well, obviously, I'm I'm worried about Lady Nagant now, but after knowing that. Chisaki is a little bit more fluent in like his his wording now. We can we could probably have Deku have the conversation with him about like what are you doing, uh what what what's your goal here? If he just wants to see the boss, that's when Deku's uh now adopted ideology as far as what he needs to do uh, against villains yeah. would have to kick in. It's not about. I like, think Deku's actually going to take him to see the boss. I think so too, because. If if Deku understands the fact that he did all of this shit, like with Aerie and everything, because he wanted the best for like the boss, even though he's Yakuza, and you know, yeah, like it it, it, was, it wasn't even about him. Mm-hmm. He just had like he had a specific like purpose and like goal, and he just wanted to see it through. And so yeah, Aerie. Airy was an ends to a meme. Yeah. So I think it will be one of those things where Deck is like, I can't really forgive you for everything you did, but I do know what you're probably thinking right now. So maybe there'll be a compromise. We'll see. Because I don't think Deku will be able to do that one and act on his own for it. You'd probably have to like consult with All Might and everyone else uh, in the All Might, Ox, Endeavor, Best Genus. Yeah, and see what would be the best course of action. Thinking that the I pro f- heroes would probably be like, lock him up. Like, wh- what are you waiting for? But Deku's like, wait, hold on, because... There's a new way we gotta start doing things. Yeah. Overhaul doesn't seem... Well, Chisaki, Chisaki doesn't seem like a threat right now. He's not a threat. Um, especially... He like... honestly just seems... He seems like he needs to see the boss. Yeah. Ooh, that's that's definitely like another thing. Like, like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be seeing flashbacks of Airy, and Deku is going to be emotionally like triggered by that. Um, but if he can keep his cool about it, then he can look past it and actually help Chisaki be a hero in that regard too. Yeah, like honestly, if he can turn Chisaki to the good side, I I think that'd be a good thing for Chisaki's character. And then Stain's over here like, yes, this is the one I've been waiting for. Shoto. <laughs> Deku. Do you think Stain, separate note, would, do you think he would accept either Bakugo or Todoroki? I think he would accept, yeah, Probably. Because I think he already kind of I think he already kind of accepted Todoroki when they were fighting, but he didn't accept Ida. Yeah, okay, fair. Yeah, that's true. They did have like the face to face there. Because I think the whole thing with Stain was the fact that like it was like wh- what's like what are you doing this for? It's for the fame. Yeah. You're not you're not a real hero. If you're doing this because like a, the true nature of a hero is to meddle in things that don't involve you, it's like, oh, yep, that's a dude. That's my guy. Yeah. Yep, if you're doing it for the money, the fame, women, or revenge like like Ida was doing, then you, you're not a real hero. Mm-hmm. Yeah, going back to Lady Nagant is, like, I really hope so, because obviously she'd be a great asset, like, as far as, like, fighting against the ultimate evil, but also, like, she kind of deserves to, like, find her own redemption, like, on her own terms, instead of Having a blow up in her face. Oh, I just thought of something. Oh? There is one person who might be able to heal her right now. Um. Actually, I have no idea. 
is not airy. It's not airy. She she's already been. She needs to store it up. There's technically one person who could restore her. Um, and he don't got no arms. Oh, that's true. Well, Chisaki could do it technically. He could. That could be his bargaining chip. Damn, you're right. It'd be one of those things where I take me to the boss um, and I'll heal her. And I'll fix her up. Not sure how you'll fix this up, but, you know. I mean, he's lit he would literally take Aerie apart and put her back together again. It's true. But, you know, like, aside from a couple cuts, it was just, like, a rearrangement. But this is, like, you're rearranging, like, a charred body right now. I'm not sure you can, like, Heal those particular cells that have been like destroyed. I mean, yeah, but he, he even managed to molecularly fuse himself with with Chrono at a molecular level. That is true, and that's not really an easy feat per se, especially when that's not. But I mean, obviously, there's four arms people like in the world, so the DNA is probably like, is a lot more I elaborate. He could, if she cracked apart, he could put those cracks back together. I guess so. It just, you know, it won't be like a clean face like Lady Nagat. It would probably just be like someone. It would just be her, but, you know, she already has like the damage on her. That's why I'd see. Like, that's what I'm saying. I was like, because that could be a step for Chuck in the right direction is fixing, say, like Lady. Like, I, I think because his quirk overhaul, it allows him to rearrange things, break them down and rearrange them. You know what we need? We need overhaul and cell regenerator like activation. Like overhaul's quirk has a really good potential to be a medical quirk. Yeah, I think I just think it would be. But obviously like his focus is elsewhere, so it's like his yeah, it's like his quirk involves disassembling anything that he touches at a molecular structural level. He's also able to reassemble things after he deassembles them. But he can only dis disassemble or reassemble anything upon touching the target with his bare hands. But we also know now that that applies to his feet. <laughs> can you imagine him in the, in the operating room? <laughs> Here's my question. This is what, still what I say. He could use that same portrait to give himself new arms. I don't know, because like it's taking apart and reassembling it. His arms are gone. Like, if you have his spare arms, then sure, yeah, he could just, he could probably, like, bind them together, but... It's yeah, like, you know, the donor, donor arms? Donor arms? There have, there have been, there has been an arm transplant in history. There are, people have actually gotten arms transplanted. I was just saying, like, who, anyone got spare arms? I'm sure the hospital does. Oh, that's kind of dark. Yeesh. Uh, but... It's true, though. There are people who have had arm transplants. I'm just trying to, like, imagine that, like, I guess, like, as long as they say, like, his arm, and if it's, like, but, like, if it is now attached, then it would work. I was just saying, because, um... I mean, he, he got he got to use four arms before, so he added two arms to his already existing arms. Okay. I, I want to bring this up, because it deals with, like, Ethan Winters from Resident Evil, like, Village, specifically. Uh, but also Seven. Uh, the fact is, is that this dude reattaches his arm because of, well, story context and spoilers later on. But uh, there was a moment in Village where um, he, one, gets his, um, what was it? His ring and left pinky bitten off by, like, one of the uh, lichens. Um, he bandages it up, that's it. Um, another portion of the game later on, um, somehow, like, he gets his entire right arm severed. Um, and he's like, oh, fuck this. He pours some chem fluids on the stub and reattaches his arm <laughs> just like that. And it works. But the problem is, is that, like, his left hand with the uh, ring finger and the pinky are still gone because he does nothing to attach it with again. So it just stays as stubs, whereas his right arm is just reattached. So what, what I was thinking is that, like, if he doesn't have an arm donor, then... It doesn't matter if, if he tries touching his his stub again. It'll just it'll just be a stub because he has nothing else to like work with. True, but all I'm saying is 
he added two arms to himself. <laughs> he did add two arms, but those are arms that just existed on someone else. That's why I say, that's why I say, if they can find him, it'd be dark. But if they could find him, just donor arms from a hospital or something, bada boom. You know what? Considering the world of My Hero Academia and the fact that there's like, you can have like different types of appendages, maybe, maybe there, maybe it isn't a far off shot from that. I could see it. Like, I could see them like having spare arms. <laughs> or, you know what? Better yet, if it doesn't have to be biological, it could just be like, like prosthetics. Aesthetics. Yeah, they could just channel. They could just channel the quirk through his arms, like full metal style. And then it's just, it's something that he needs to adapt to. They're no longer molecular, like types arms. He would just have to reconsider it. That'd be that kind of cool. Would be interesting. It'd be kind of cool, actually. That would be pretty interesting. Because Mirko already gets the prosthetic later on, so. Yep, she and she lost an arm and an ear. Yeah. At least it was no legs on that one, but she needs those. No, oh, she needs those legs. Those legs are her bread and butter. Mm. Yeah, so I'm really hoping in that case that uh, Chisaki then could probably heal her like right now. Like I think I think he has the potential to be a medical, to be for a second chance in the medical field. I feel like he could do that. I've I've thought about that like for a while, but of course it depends on what he wants to do like right here right now and then afterward. But he could, absolutely could. I'm not getting a villain vibe for him right now, you know. Yeah, he just he just wants to talk to the boss. His dad. It's my dad. That's his adoptive father, man. To him, that is his dad. Mm hmm. He wants to go apologize. The next chapter will probably be exactly how you say it. It'd probably be a split of, you know, Hawks having this, like, one-on-one, -on -one, like... Uh, Trying to save Lady? Yeah. And Deku probably going over to Chisaki now to just see what's going on with them. And then maybe those two would come together and be like, okay... I can actually fix her, but you need to promise me I need to go see that boss. Sure, deal. Because he's like, he was the one who technically just put him to bed for a this long time. This is true. He, the boss was in a coma because of Chisaki. Because Chisaki felt like he was the only one who could save the boss's Yakuza at this rate. Yeah. But then I guess the alternative, the counterpoint would be, like, how can we trust that you'll just wake him up? Like, just say you won't try to mix him in with your own body to get more limbs on you so you can actually be more of a threat. Oh, so, fuck, I didn't even think about that. So, that's something that the heroes will have to consider, and Deku will have to trust, like, Jisaki on that one. Just, there's gotta be a hero that, there's gotta be a hero or some kind of medical quirk out there that's like, that they got for like replacing limbs. Probably. I wouldn't doubt that. That it's just, seems like a very likely quirk. If anything, that probably is all for one, despite never giving himself a face. It's like, we know that they, we know that he has regeneration. But it's like, you would think that there would be like some kind of quirk out there, like some kind of stem cell quirk where it's like, you know, because stem cells help with regeneration. I can see it. But yeah. Uh, is there... You know, there's a hero that provides us with a, nice, with a nice amount of donor organs and limbs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty much it. I think we've, like, literally, like, went through every single aspect of, like, this chapter. Um... Oh yeah, I guess I, I guess I should say that like the fact that Lady Nagan can like create this gross arm rifle uh, for the sake of like outputting a lot more velocity on her end. Um, that bullet is gonna go far and fast. Yeah, but the fact is that Deku once again proven himself to be like even faster than the person. Um, I think faster uh, than a speeding bullet. He was faster than Gran Torino too. This is true, and Gran Torino is known to be like he's, one of the fastest heroes out there. Yeah, he's fast. 
Pretty sure you see it's called Jet after all. This is true. So <laughs> I'm now looking at the panel. It's like I held my end of the deal. Just straight I shouting. I mean, granted, yeah, he's way far at this point. I held up my end of the deal. Are you done yet? Yeah. But otherwise, yeah. That's pretty much everything. This was a really great conclusion to, like, the fight. Well, I say great as far as, like, the action stuff, not the end of it. Sad. But I do like the foe 100% now. She was going to say Izuku's a real hero, and then boom. I mean, what she says, what she said. He's the real deal. I know, but in the trans in the other translation, it was like, you're a re- Izuku Noria, you're a real hero. <laughs> Someone, a comment had me dead. You know what it said? What did it say? I said boss, not boom. <laughs> Take me to the boom. <laughs> I said boss, not boom. Damn, dude. Well, that was a, that's a massive explosion, too. Oh, it's enormous. I bet that her body is still anywhere in touch like intact basically it's not everywhere mm-hmm. like it's still a whole piece it's a whole piece you think that she was just gone on pretty much the molecular level nah she's still hanging in there <laughs> she's really hanging in there right now tough lady mm-hmm. <laughs> off one that asshole he really is a dick <laughs> he needs to be stopped <laughs> You need to be stopped. <laughs> Trunks goes in for the hug. He don't attack. All right. So I, I guess uh, next chapter is June thirteenth. Um, yes. So that would be. Oh, that's E three. Yep. Um, e three starts on the twelfth. It starts on the twelfth, but we have. Um, Sunday to be Microsoft's event. It is a... Yeah, so they're going to be overlapping. So I don't know how we're going to schedule that out. We can, uh, we can just push. We can just push the manga read to a different time, like when E three is over. Yes. Okay. We'll we'll do that. Um, like when the when it's over for the day. Okay. In that case, um, when does um the Microsoft event actually start up? Do we know? Yeah, let's look and see what time that is. Mm-hmm. E three, then we just, then we just got to work out like how it's gonna go during the day. Like we w- we'll watch the Microsoft event, and then we can do the live read. We can do the live read, then we can do the Microsoft event. Mm-hmm. Microsoft E three time. Uh, it says Microsoft will hold one p.m. Yeah. Eastern Standard, ten a.m. Pacific. Wow. Okay, so it's a little earlier than usual. I'll just have to keep that in mind. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to predict that uh, if we're just doing Xbox and Bethesda, which might just be the case, but also I'm curious about Square Enix and what they're going to be doing. Is that going to be... Yeah. Oh my god, that's going to be... That's probably going to be like back-to-back, too. Fuck! <laughs> yep, it says that the Xbox presentation is get Xbox and Bethesda. They will be about uh, 90 minutes. Oh wow, really? So So like hour and a half. Mm-hmm. In that case Yeah. So I mean, how about we'll just say like we'll still do it like on the day, just like at a later time, but we just don't know when we actually want to do it. Um stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. In the meantime, uh next Sunday then would be uh we'll actually just do an Xbox and Bethesda well E three uh type of stream. And then we'll see what goes down. Um with chapter 316 um, sometime after that day. Or, no, later in that day. So, yeah. Alright. Uh, otherwise, um, I'm just let you guys know, uh, Sunday Fight Night, I'm just gonna postpone that one. Uh, just so I can do stuff in the background. Uh. Yeah. Alright. We'll end it here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I uh, hope to see you guys um, next Sunday at 10am uh, Pacific Time here. Um, Anything for the immediate uh, forecast. Uh, usual uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will start at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Like, is there anything else? I 
I think for now it could just be Mario Rabbids for a little bit. Um unless otherwise specified, but yeah. Otherwise, I guess um that'd just pretty much be the schedule for the upcoming week. Yeah. All right. Ending it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh I don't believe that there's anyone um that's streaming right now. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh, let's go raid someone. Raid, raid Shadow Legends. Ooh. No one that I know right now. So, all right, we'll just end it uh, from here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next stream. Hashtag bye, everyone. Have a good rest of your weekend or the rest of today. So, yeah. All right. Hashtag bye, everyone.